and welcome back we have a 2004 kia sedona and i believe it has a bad idler pulley so we're gonna go ahead and get that replaced and this video can also help you replace your belt tensioner pulley So everything so far is pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated. And right here is the bolt that's going to tighten or loosen the belt tensioner. Okay, so I noticed that the gloves that I'm wearing actually make a lot of noise. I thought it was funny because it actually reminds me of that Seinfeld episode. The one where George puts on those pants and they make a lot of noise as he walks. So I just want to take this time to apologize ahead of time for my noisy gloves. Okay, so back to the repair. First, you want to take the nut off of the pulley or even just loosen it. Then you could go underneath the pulley and loosen the tensioner bolt. And spinning this pulley, it actually sounds okay. And it doesn't look half bad either. Maybe it's already been replaced before. Here I'm just trying to get the belt out of the way so I could get to the idler pulley and spin it and listen to how it sounds. Thank you. 
and once you remove those three bolts out comes the pulley so it's pretty straightforward not too difficult of a job so right off the bat the pulley doesn't sound good and it's spinning for way too long there's probably no grease inside of this thing This is the part where having an impact gun really comes in hand because this ball is actually really difficult to get off and the most important thing is that it is not a normal thread bolt it's actually reverse thread so in order to get it off you want to spin it clockwise If you're getting an OEM pulley from the dealer, you could probably just go ahead and leave this stud on here. But we're going to be using an aftermarket part, so this whole stud has to come out and it's going to get replaced with new hardware. You don't have to use any Loctite here, but it's just something I prefer to do, so better safe than sorry. I actually torqued mines down to 45 foot pounds, and it's a bit more difficult than I thought it would have been. Initially I was using my quarter inch ratchet to hold the other end. But it was just way too difficult and I was struggling way too much. So that's when I grabbed my extra long wrench and it really helped a lot. And again, same thing with the Loctite here. It's not necessary. I just wanted to use it. Makes me feel better. Once the idler pulley is installed on the engine, it actually sits really close to the frame of the car. And you're not going to have much space to get the belt on. So to make things easy on yourself just pull the belt out right now like I did and put the pulley behind it. Trying to get this job done you're going to be working in a tight area but me having the camera here recording really doesn't help me at all. So I'm just trying to get up close and personal to make this job go as easy as it possibly can for you guys. And in return all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe.
Now this tensioner pulley could be a little tricky to get on. What I found that works best is to try to set it on the belt first and then try to get the bolt through it. So don't tie in the pulley first, first you want to set the tension and once you get the tension correct then you go ahead and tighten the nut on the pulley. Now I know I just tightened it up with my uh, cordless ratchet here, but I actually did go back and you know use a regular wrench to get that fine adjustment until I liked the way the belt felt. And I have no idea what happened here, but my torque wrench did not want to come off. Go home, torque wrench. You're drunk. And a quick startup to verify that everything is in place and working as it should and the belts lined up correctly. And that's pretty much it. Now you know how to change your idler pulley and your belt tensioner pulley. So hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.